deep in your data center. Servers and machines are negotiating. They do not exchange passwords. Instead, they send cryptic elements such as username, a random challenge, and a calculated response. Each message tightly wrapped in mathematical secrecy. These ancient methods are part of the world of new technology land manager, NTLM, the old gatekeeper of Microsoft's realm. Think of it like solving a riddle. What has keys but can't open locks? A keyboard, ding, 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 access granted. In NTLM, you answer the question and never have to prove who you are. Yet beneath the surface, cracks begin to show. Legacy haunted its corridors. Bad actors could intercept a handshake. When a hacker intercepts a handshake, that person can impersonate users, gain unauthorized access, and escalate privileges. In March of 2025, CVE 2025-24054 surfaced through the cracks. Its impact quickly spread across the government and major private sector companies throughout Europe. In Poland and Romania, institutions became unwitting participants in a cyber heist. Users received phishing emails containing Dropbox links that include archive or zip files with the simple act of extracting a malicious library ms file. NTLM hashes were exfiltrated in the background, sometimes without requiring a single click. Attackers leveraged these stolen credentials to launch relay and brute force attacks, gaining unauthorized access and moving laterally through the corporate network, escalating privileges and threatening domain-wide compromise. The result was swift and painful. Entire networks were exposed to attackers who harvested credentials and escalated attacks with minimal resistance. Sensitive government data, private resources, and business operations faced risks, resulting in disruption to business operations and eroding trust in traditional login methods. Federal agencies rushed to patch their systems before May 8th of 2025. The CISA deadline for addressing NTLM vulnerability, CVE 2025-24054. However, by that date, at least 10 campaigns had already exploited the security flaw. For many affected organizations, rapid exploitation highlighted the critical cost of leaving NTLM unprotected and accelerated the ongoing shift away from vulnerable legacy protocols. NTLM's legacy stretches back to 1993, when Microsoft released it as, as part of the Windows NT 3.1, replacing the earlier land manager protocol. NTLM was designed as a challenge and response mechanism, allowing users to authenticate with a unique string of bytes that are encrypted and transmitted across the network. The challenge and response provide a significant improvement to enterprise security by eliminating the need to send passwords in plain text. An added benefit is the backwards compatibility that allowed companies to use NTLM when their systems did not work with Kerberos systems. It was hard-coded into countless applications and services, making NTLM difficult to retire, as it served as a fallback when legacy compatibility outweighed security concerns. Yet, as attackers exploited its inherent <laughs> cryptographic weakness, Primarily through relay and patch the hash attacks, Microsoft began phasing out NTLM in 2024, declaring a complete transition to Kerberos and more secure mechanisms by 2027. NTLM operates through a challenge and response authentication mechanism designed to verify a user's identity without transmitting their actual password over the network. The NTLM hash, which is a 16 byte MD4 hash split into two sections of eight bytes each. They go through three rounds of the obsolete data encryption standard to produce a TLM response. The server forwards the username, challenge, and encrypted response to the domain controller, which retrieves the user stored password hash and uses the user's encryption to encrypt the original challenge itself. When the user sends a challenge in response, the server compares the results of its challenge and response calculation to the client's encrypted response. The client is authenticated and granted access only if the two results match. This exchange ensures that the password itself never crosses the network, but the proof that the client knows is undeniable, unless it's intercepted and replayed by an attacker exploiting NTLM's inherent weaknesses. The best practices for using NTLM in 2025 
Focus on mitigating its known vulnerabilities while preparing for a complete phase out by embracing modern authentication protocols. Enforce SMB and LDAP signing to cryptographically verify authentication and prevent NTLM relay attacks that exploit unsigned traffic. Restrict or disable NTLM authentication through group policy whenever possible. Reduces the exposure surface, especially on critical servers and services. Deploy extended protection and authentication and prevent credential leaks to unauthorized systems by tying authentication requests to specific systems. Strong network segmentation and least privilege access controls. Limit lateral movement opportunities for attackers, compromising NTLM credentials. And continuous monitoring and logging to support early detection of suspicious NTLM activities and credential relay attacks by monitoring authentication events using tools such as SIM or IDS. A great affordable option is to transition to Kerberos, a certificate-based multi-factor authentication protocol replacing the legacy NTLM protocol. In conclusion, NTLM once ruled Windows authentication, but its age and architectural flaws make it a liability. In today's sophisticated environment, as evidenced by the landscape, today's devastating impact, discoveries such as CVE 2025-24054 prove that relying on NTLM exposes organizations to unacceptable risk. From credential theft to full network compromise, your goal is to ensure resilience and protect sensitive data against modern attackers. Organizations must accelerate the retirement at NTLM, adopting robust modern authentication protocols. The time to move beyond NTLM is now. Security cannot wait for legacy systems to be replaced. So upgrade today. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'd like to thank you for watching.